when that sun goes down for the sunset for me, it's a spiritual moment for me. I feel just that this is definitely where I need to be. It's absolutely fantastic to be here, out here in the bush. I was living in London and I was, you know, it's fine. Nice place to live, but I wasn't happy. I'd never been out of Europe before last year and I came here. I'd never felt so at home somewhere. I came all the way from Malawi, coming down here just for this course. I have gained so much information that I haven't been able to grasp the information back in India maybe in two years. A spiritual experience and a very holistic approach to the environment. When you talk nature while you're at UK, you can't see nature. You can't see anything. There. But if you come where nature is, it's where you can understand more. I think I've never learned that much in such a short period of time. It's an inspiring thing because it's such a big part of my life now and it's something that it's just there. Fire. It's like Africa in your blood. It's amazing how the dynamics work with every single animal and thing on this um, in nature. We can learn about trees in endless ways. We can learn about insects, plants, birds, mammals, reptiles. Sustainability and family and being able to link those two together, untouchable man. We've been out here for 55 days and We've been learning incredible things such as we've been going in depth with mammals, reptiles, amphibians, ecology. One thing I've learned is one of the, about the love and uh, the passion of the nature. I think the main lesson that we've learned here is this is not all about just the, seeing the big fives. We've learned about trees, geology, astronomy, meteorology. Here in Africa, I mean, it's just a treasure. We were talking about the fire and we said, I don't think there's anywhere else you could take 17 completely random people from across the world and not one of them would not get on with each other. We were taught uh, how to use a sustainable tourism in order for this tourism industry to be there for millions and billions of years. And it's, it's amazing to be out in the bush and to be able to learn in the bush and not through the books. A lot of the things that we've learned over the past couple of weeks in this place has just really instilled that mindset of like preserving what we see around us. Learning how to guide a nature experience. Really creating that connection and seeing how nature was here first and we actually are a part of nature and it's not the other way around. As well as being able to interpret what you see out there in the field. Just being in the bush, you, there's a connection. And it's just incredible to sit around that fire every night, discuss the activity, and now we all saw the same thing, but we all felt something different. I can't put into words how much I have gained from this experience. A sense of urgency and education and really opening eyes to what people are missing and what, what's happening. It's like a family, eh? They're doing a very wonderful part to us. There's just no way I could thank Eco Training enough for what they did, man. I love, like, geography was one of my passions, that how everything around us was formed by something far beyond human comprehension. Being a human being, I have feelings for these animals to save them, to conserve them, or just to do my bit. You can never stop learning out here. It's just, there's too much to learn. They open my eyes to this, especially the instructors. They open my, my eyes to a wall that is just, there's no looking back after this. Man. So that's what got me into the bush. First it was just, I love looking at it, but now after this and after studies and everything. The people have just made it such an experience. We're all like a family now. This is something special. Nature is beautiful, far beyond anything man can create. And I just feel like I belong here. Eco training has kind of opened my eyes to all of that massively. You can't help but think that this is worth fighting for.